Hello everybody, it's Fat Man from the Holler. And as always, if you like my videos, hit like and subscribe. Okay, everybody's seen in one of my community posts, I was talked about having my birthday, which was Monday. So I bought an ARC welder. Been wanting one for a long line, for a long time for stick welding, but it ain't a very big welder as you can see. I mean, here it is. It's a reasonable price on Amazon, so I figured I'd purchase it, and here it is, and it has a pretty good looking ground. Here's the ground for it, which is all good. And then where you put your electrodes is right here. You squeeze that, open up, slide it in. There's that, and then let me dig through the congestion of warrants since I just have this sitting on my living room counter. Here's the 220 plug-in for it, because I said, I buy arc welder, make sure it's going to be 220. Came with a couple of cards. It's a warranty card. And to get more warranty information, it has a website, arccaptain.com. Arc Captain Service, and it has a website. And, you know, a Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And then it has stuff you can download on the back. I mean, it's awful small, arc welder to say the least and they come with an additional plug right here you know use and i know is that this is going to be so you can plug it in to like ac 110 what have you and i have the plug in right here so you can plug it right in just like that and you can plug that right into the wall or you can plug it in to 220 pretty sure it has a duration and this welder is an arc welder with TIG lift welding capabilities, and they came with this brush for cleaning, etc., which is not bad. So, let's check this book out. Here's the book The Inverter Welding Machine Arc 160 Arc 200. So, it's probably going to be 160 on AC and then DC and 200. And I've looked at many different welders, and I mean, they have a lot of nice ones through like snap on they're like 1500 bucks a little bit out of my price range but here's the instructions on it as you can see technical support and then as you go through here it shows all your safety procedures and it shows not to get electric or smoke may be harmful to your health arc radiation may hurt your eyes and burn your skin and improper use and operation may result in fire explosion and it says moving parts that can injure the body, etc. That's your safety part of the little pamphlet that came with it. And then product review. And it shows the and it shows the ARC 60 electrode holder. And then the earth clamp, which is the ground and the conversion head. And the brush. And it shows the brush and the conversion head again. And the earth clamp, which is the ground. Same thing both ways. And it tells about the features of it, etc. And it says it over it talks about the overload, over voltage is forbidden, and ventilation. We because you know when you melt lead or do any type of welding, you want to have proper ventilation and do it away from anything that can be consumable to fire or heat, like gas cans and paint, etc. and stuff like that. So it's all pretty self-explanatory. Everybody knows how to do that. And then the front of this guy has LEDs or welding mode, electro electrode selection, and then function mode. And then right here, it gets into the features, how to do it. I'm more accustomed to, when I was growing up, a lot of my uncles and people taught me how to use torches, etc. And the torches is different. You know, it's just gas and argon mixture with the torches and then the old stick welders I was used to using was actually way not sophisticated as this with this. You just had you just had two dials and you one flips it on and the other one you can adjust it to what you welding depending on the thickness of the steel. So there's that. But it has, this one's actually a little more sophisticated because it's probably made in China. Probably mass produced, but I wanted to set up the tripod in my 4K camera and we're going to see what we can get done with this and i'll just weld a few pieces of steel because i'm going to 
try to use this productively for being a hobbyist. Nothing, nothing too big, and I'll try to work with it and see if I can possibly do, maybe do some patch paneling, doing body work, or use it for my knife making, or different categories, etc. So I think it'll, for the price range, it shouldn't be too bad. And then it has, where's it at? It has this little strap that comes with it right here, which everything is entangled. And for, forgive me for that because I should have a better setup than what I have going. But here's a strap that comes with it. And then the Velcro strap, it shows you how to place the Velcro, Velcro strap, separate the Velcro, pull out one side through the strap hole, and then you can put it around your welder. And it's so lightweight, you can almost not even have you can carry it anywhere you want so i'll probably just put this in my tool chest this old military style tool cabinet i have with five shelves so roughly it seems like it's going to be a good thing so that would be something to look forward to seeing i have been slow on getting the good content out but i figured while the content is being maybe being slow i will definitely come up with some content that will be much more interesting to come so i have always new things because i'm just a hobbyist farm small time mini farmer and this is what i do and this is just what you see is what you get and i mean it's like 95 bucks and it's awful small but you know you can never ever count something out to being small that maybe not be it may not be as good as something big and more professional but that's okay so we'll do that and see what we can do in a video as always much love and i'm out